Today is Saturday, October the 7th, 2023. I'm going to video and take some photos of my property, update it like I normally do every year. And here's coming to my entryway. And I'm located in two miles north of Lake Placid, Florida. And um, here on each side of the driveway is uh, um, some uh, shrub beds. I've got sable palmettos planted in it and uh, Saranoa repen silver form as understories. And then behind them, I've got a mix of uh, Arcanta Phoenix Alexandra and Cunninghamiana. And over here, I have a small Coco Trinax fragrance that I've been growing for 21 years, very slow. And then over here, I have a sable yapa that I grew from seed. I've, I've got lots of these here and there around my property. Up here in this tree, I've got uh, Monstera deliciosa. I have a lot of that on my property. All right, I'm in my golf cart because I don't feel like walking. And I'm going to head on back down my driveway. I've got philodendron salomes and monstera planted along the driveway and back in here you can hardly see it i've got a vicario phoenix alfredii planted back in there and then right over here i've got a ficus altissima very agata tree one of many on my property. And I come back here through the gate. Of course, I've got my warning signs. They're novelty signs, however. You can take it both ways. Just inside the gate, I've got a Caradoxa palm that I've had for over 20 years. It doesn't do anything. And this foxtail palm here, I grew from seed that I picked up off the ground in my neighborhood. Back here, I have some sparse bambusa black tea more. Over here, I got a Dictosperma album. It's the slower growing one, conjugatum or something, something to that effect. It's done very well for me. Went through a lot of cold weather, really, with no damage. Uh, Livestona drudii, which I have plenty of. And over here I got a hibiscus teleoceus tree that was blown over by Hurricane Ian. You can see the roots. And then more monstera. Got lots of monstera.
see some of the fruits down there. Here's the Arconta Phoenix Cunninghamiana that was snapped off by Hurricane Ian. I don't know if it's still living or not. And then over here, that got whipped up pretty bad as a sable marita formis that I've been growing for a number of years and it's, you can see all the broken fronds still. It was tore up pretty bad by Hurricane Ian. In fact, I've been, I had this poem, I got it in 2002 in January. It was only about a foot high. This here is a floss silk tree I've had for close to 20 years. Over here is one of several Cuban royal palms, Rostonia regia. The problem with this one is the daggone sap suckers pick the hell out of the lower end of the trunk. I don't know what that's going to do to the structural integrity. And behind it is the ficus microcarpa. I uh, dug up a little sapling on a vacant lot here in Lake Placid. But back in 2010, the entire thing was frozen to the ground. And back. Uh, Behind it is a, a double uh, Livestone of Chinensis. It was a triple at one time. One of them died. Over here is some Arconta Phoenix Cunninghamiana. And then back in here is a Bismarck palm and, and some clumps of uh, traveler's palms, which were beat up pretty bad by Hurricane Ian, but they're mostly recovered now. Uh, this is uh, one of two Macario Phoenix Alfredii palms I have. I probably had it for about 10 years. It's never been damaged so far by cold or frost. And some big clump of uh, pandanus. It may be tectorious, I'm not sure. Over here, I got a Calusia shrub. It's the Florida native, the more cold hardy. And behind it, I got a big clump of traveler's palm. Right here is a small clump of, I guess, rapis excelsa something the lady palm. In my front yard, I have a ficus altissima variegata that I planted in, I think, April of 1999. And I think January of 2001, it got froze down to the roots but it started coming back and it <clears throat> created multiple trunks. It was just a single trunk when I bought it. The staghorn fern planted in there, it's locked in. See the extent of the, all the roots. There's a big subsidiary root that was once an aerial root. 
but now it's a solid subsidiary root. And then <clears throat> under the canopy of my Altissima, I've got some frost tender palms. There's a small majesty, solitaire palm. Here's another majesty. And behind that, I've got two small Vitia, I think Joannas. And then I got another solitaire palm here, another solitaire palm, plus a Boystonia borinquina. And here, of course, this triangle palm is not under the canopy, but it's growing here. And then this uh, Pandanus tectorius. It's under the canopy. I've got many of these. And then right over here, I've got two more Sable Urisana palms. Okay, these Sable palmettos were original to my property, except over here where I have two of them. And the one to the right, it's booted or unbooted was here. But the one growing next to it, which is ex actually exceeded the height, started growing years later. And up in the, my house face is basically uh, east. And I have uh, Exora Super Kings planted in the front. And I got this uh, Cuban Royal Palm. I just had that planted a couple months ago. And these pygmy date palms are, I got right after we built our home, which was in August of 98. We had these planted a month or two later. So they've got lots of trunk on them. European fan palm here. Ponytail palm that I should have never planted there. That was a big mistake. See how much it's grown. And then this uh, serious Peruvianus came up on its own and now it's really leaning. I expect one day it's going to fall. And I've got a, a Dipsis um, teddy bear palm right here. Dipsis leptokilos. This is one of two that I have. I got a triple Arconta Phoenix. Alexander here, another Pandanus tectorius here, and then right here I have a Arconte Phoenix uh, Alexandra. It's my second to the tallest. It's got a lot of seeds forming. And then right here, another sable uh, urisana. Um, it's kind of dark in here. Adenidia palm there. And then a Bucario phoenix Madagascar cariensis right here. And it's underneath of a, uh, I can't recall the tree, a carrot wood tree that came up on its own. And I got a bunch of um, crinum lilies, queen emmas.
something right here. I got a Sagar Schizophila I've had for over about 21 years. Small Roystona Regia. Then I have my Cocos New Sephira Green Malayan Dwarf right there. And then right here I have a Roystonia Borinquina. And then lastly, I've got a small um, the hybrid um, foxtail palm and uh, foxy lady palm. My wife got me this off at eBay a number of years ago. I planted it here. I've got a Brazilian red cloak shrub there. Lemuria obtusa. Here's another Lemuria. And right here I've got a small coconut palm I've been growing for about three years. It's been through two winters. I sprouted it from a nut. I'm not sure what variety is. I think it might ha be half Panama tall. Over here I have a Sable Urisana. I think I got a Sable Palmetto growing up next to it. <clears throat> I got Alagoptera right here. I, this is one of three that I have. Java plum tree I grew from a seed. And in the backyard here, I've got four, four Bismarckia noblis silver form that I planted a little over 20 years ago. I've got another one, smaller one growing back there. This is my tallest one right back here. Actually, they got still have some frond damage from a Hurricane Ian last year. Over here, I've got three Livestona decora that I've had for probably over 15 years. And this, I've got them all at the same time with the same vendor, but yet look how small this one is. And then this one back here is just a little bit better. But over on the other side here, I've got one growing back there that I got from the same vendor a year later, and it's twice as tall as the tallest one over here. Here's a close-up of the other, the Vistona decor <clears throat> that I got a year after the other ones from the same vendor, and it's so much taller. Must have better growth genes. And right here, this is the carcass of one of my Butea odorata that died. I had this palm for 20, 25 years and it died. Here's a Chef Lyra actinophila. And growing up into it, this is a Carpenteria palm. Then next to it is a clump of uh, a clump of what? Dipsis lutescens. 
and then over here with um, philodendron scandens growing up the trunk is the carpentaria palm. That's growing up into the tree limbs up there. No way for me to get up there to trim them. And then right here, I've got a ficus ali that I've had for about 20 years. And then over on this scrub oak is covered with philodendron scandens. It's a mess back here. I have paths going through here and I can see debris, palm fronds blocking the path. And I got this uh, Delonyx regia tree here. This palm is, I was told when I bought it, was uh, some type of hybrid uh, Livestona. I bought this from the late John Bishock, probably at least 15 years ago. I don't know <clears throat> what uh, species it is or cross the species. I don't really care. I like it. Here's a, another view of the hybrid Livestona. This here is my uh, second uh, teddy bear palm. Dipsosleptokilos. It was really <clears throat> tore up by Hurricane Ian. You can see all the dead hanging fronds. But this is the younger of the two I have, and this one has a heavier trunk than the one in the, by the front yard. I bought this Phoenix Reclinata about 20 years ago. And I also bought this Phoenix Reclinata at the same time, but yet they're both a little different. So I guess they got different degrees of hybridity. And then right over here, I have a Oranga and Glari that I've had for more than 20 years. Right here, I have a trailer with a lot of my potted palms and seedlings. And uh, this winter, if we get any kind of frost, <clears throat> I'll either pull this trailer under the canopy of my ficus uh, altissima or else pull it in my garage. Over here is my defunct uh, shade house and greenhouse and then over here under these this tree canopy i've got different plants and palms in this pot here i got a small hallia or storiana right over here i have a small roystonia Olorosia that I've had for two or three years. Right here I've got an Arica triandra. I got about 30 seeds off of it about a couple weeks ago. Uh, it did, this got cold damage last year because a lot of my canopy was stripped of its leaves from Hurricane Ian. Right here, I've got an Arconta Phoenix purpuri. Some sort of dipsis, I forget the name of it. A 
little traveler spawn. I've got big traveler spawns. I got this spawn here. I forgot the name of it. Wedlediana or something like that. It's done real well for me. I've had it for several years now. That's never been hurt during the winter. Over here, I've got my African oil palm. It was whipped up pretty bad by Hurricane Ian. <clears throat> and over here, I've got a spindle palm, which is one of my favorite palms. And I think my African oil palm, it's got over six foot of trunk, maybe six foot six or so. I do get viable seed off of it. I have grown some palms from it. Over here, I got a small royal palm. Hasn't started the trunk yet. And then I've got a <clears throat> Bacario Phoenix Fenestralis. I got this palm about two or three years ago. It was really sickly and small, but somehow it likes it where it's at. Right here, I got a Livestona Australis, and I'm shooting into the sun here. It's got a little bit of curved trunk. It was probably blown over a little bit. And I got a Beauty Agris palm here that I got last year because I lost two very nice Beauty Agris palms that I had for 20 years and they died a trunk rot. And then this uh, Butea odorata, I got this earlier this year and this replaced two Butea odorata that I had for 25 years and they were whipped by Hurricane Ian and somehow they got trunk rot and died. And I've got this big clump of a Bambusa membranacea that started out from a single comb that the late John Bishop gave me many, many, many years ago. This here's a Peltiporum africanum. It's yellow flowers on it in the spring. And this is my biggest clump of more of an arborescent form of uh, green Serenoa repens. I'm kind of walking around it. Let me back off a little bit. Okay, out here on our lanai, half of it's covered with the roof. We want to be out of the sun. The other half is screened, uncovered. We grow a lot of potted stuff out here. Uh, here's a Camidoria cataractorum. Right here, I've got some variety of coconut palm. I'm not sure what it is. That's touching the top of the screen. And then over in here, I've got hibiscus. I've got a Elias quinensis, African oil palm. I grew that from seed from my mother palm. 
And here's another Camadoria Cataractorum. Little foxtail poem there. I got a triple Arconta Phoenix Cunninghamiana there. Uh, single Arconta Phoenix Cunninghamiana. Over here. I've got a solitaire palm. Well, I guess there's three of them in there. But this one's the dominant. And it's going up and touching the screen. I'm going to have to move that a little bit. But anyway, we, we grow potted palms out here. And when they get too big, I plant them in the ground. <clears throat> and next spring, I'll be planting most of them. That's the end of my uh, 2023 update of my property.